Silent night. Holy... No, it's all right, well, guys. We've gone past Christmas. <laughs> it ain't gone back to that. Right, <laughs> now, if you've watched the video I've just done, if you haven't, go back and watch it. Yeah. I've just done this tea light with a natural. Well, I get asked all the time, you know, about doing... I did say if you want to do it with carbide, because I don't do it with spindle gauge, about doing it with carbide. No, I know you don't ask me, but other people do do okay mm -hmm. it's not all about you although it is because i'm is using you, you. <laughs> <laughs> right so other people do ask so i'm going to do one with carbide okay because like i say drop your handle and all that sort of stuff don't if you come in flat you're probably going to tear it up something rotten you know so i'm going to do one with carbide yeah. simple as that so flash shield on so and i'm going to get started you just do it see it i'm starting off i'm using a nine mil round now you can use the 12 mil, use whatever. I'm just using the nine because I love this little, I love box this little chisel, this box hollower. I love it. <laughs> right, start up, step over here, let it spin up. Does it spin? Exactly the same, I'm not doing nothing different. Put my hand there, come around. Now, oh, I've got a nasty knobbly bit here. knobbly bit first let me just have a look at that yeah it's this bit that was sticking right out see but i've got most of it down i'm cutting a lot of air so i'm going to come in that's it right I did with the spindle gouge. I've got a slight knobbly bit here, so I'm cutting a little bit of air. Now I can fit my finger down there, so I've got to move it in, okay? Yes, I am moving it with a tool rest. Now, if you're going to move it with your tool rest, just be careful. You know, it annoys me so much people say, oh, you shouldn't do that. Beginners might watch you and do it, and yes, yeah, so what? Uh, all beginners idiots then? Mm. Can't they do it, because they're a beginner? Bit of like the live edge up the top there. And like I say, by keeping my handle down and coming in, you know what I'm doing, I've told you all before. Right, okay. That is round there, so I can make that my foot. Go a little bit deeper with it, so I don't need all this up here. I can have a slightly bigger foot on this coat. Right, there we go. That's my foot. Right, I've got to get the tool rest down a bit. I'm a little bit high. Moving it in. Remember, don't ram it, don't hit your piece. and see what I've got, see what the shape is where I am with the, well I've still got flat there, okay, it's gone from there, but I've got flat there, that's why I'm getting that little bit of bounce, 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 so I'm going to get rid of that, I'm keeping a big bit of bark down there, not so much there, could have probably been over a little bit that piece,
If you're going to adjust the height of the tool rest, I suggest you pull it away, do your height and then put it back in. That's where you can come in trouble if you try lifting and raising and all that sort of stuff. You know, you might be new to turning, but you're not new to life. I'm sure you can understand instruction, basic instructions. Yeah, you don't need to be taught like children, innit? Well... Let's see if I've got rid of that flat spot. See, it's hard to tell, I can't feel it and see, because I'm the tiniest little bit. I can't feel it, see, because I've got this and this, so it's giving me a false impression on it. Mm -hmm. In it. <laughs> In it. <laughs> so my cut's down now because I'm coming to the finish. By the sound of it, it's gone, but I'm not sure. Gone. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. It's Turned into a cake. It's gone. It's right. <laughs> We're looking pretty good. There's a very, there's a little punky bit there. It's a very tiny bit of terror just there on that edge there. Now I can hear that when it's going. I can hear the bouncing of it. Mm -hmm. So we can't have no terror. We've got to get rid of it. So we're going to start with the stay with the nine at the moment. Can only come to there. Right, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So I'm going to go off of that and I'm going to go onto a, a detail, <laughs> just a standard detail, to get that finished cut. This chisel will take care, look, see, you'll get that. Angel hair. You'll get this, come on, angel hair. This will take care of any tear out. Have a look. Yep. Yep, all gone. There we go, completely gone. Right, a little bit of sand in. Won't take a lot. The same amount as we've done with the other one. Remember, we'll watch your fingers up this end, we've got a live edge. Done. What I want to do is I'm going to take this away and I want to just get rid of that knobble because it's sticking out a bit further than I want it to be. Just use the detail chisel. That's all, just so it wouldn't interfere on the chuck. Right, that's all good. Oh, yeah. 
Sorry. Let me go again. Sandy and sea love. <laughs> Sorry guys, I forgot. <laughs> there we go, that's enough. <laughs> Go. Take this back, I'm not going to be needing this. I give that a second and then I'm going to just put, again, I'm just putting wax on. I don't need to sand in abrasive paste for that. People didn't use them that long ago. Well, that long ago, people weren't using any of that abrasive stuff. Mm. Now it's like no one can do anything without using abrasive. Turn around and hollow. Oh, there we go. See, same shine, no different to the other one. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. No, it's not that. It's a screw, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> right, let me get some tissue. Just hold it. I don't mark it. Again, because I put it on and backed it off, and what's it? Then it went. There we go. Look, that's beautiful. No torn grain. Okay, there's all the end grains. They're all beautiful. <laughs> Carbide does it just as good. Pardon me. But I'm getting mounted in here. Oh, for following that little tip. Let me just put my detail chisel back up there. Yeah, it does annoy me and these people who think they are so experienced are like, oh, you shouldn't do that because a new turner might copy you. <laughs> that is the idea. <laughs> How else are they going to learn unless someone shows them? Yeah. And it's like, yeah, but you can't show them that. They're idiots. They wouldn't be able to do that. That's what you think. That's what you think. Me, I think show them how to do it. Cut out all the bad bit, all the yeah, years of learning. Like, oh well, you've got to start like that because I started like that. Yeah. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't have to start like that. Don't start how I started. It was horrible having to learn for all that time. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, there we are. It's better to start early, isn't it? Yeah. Doing it right away. Jump straight in. Straight into the deep end. Right, just see where I'm going to be with this. Be careful. Remember to touch with the left hand wing, leg. Wing, leg, whatever you want to call it. Right, there you go, just to the outside of that mark. You want to go to the bottom of that little hole because yeah that's it because uh those candles are quite deep and because the natural edge i want just the flickering light to see and seeing at the top really see To the bottom of the hole, that's it, got it. There we are, and then again. 
again. I'm just going to go in my R2 just to clean up that bit in the bottom, in the middle. There we go, look at that, it's gone. Uh, that decoration needed so, at the yeah, corner. Yeah, because I've done it with the other one, I might as well do it this one. <laughs> there you go. I just got to watch because the corners stick out on that. I don't want to uh, catch a corner with, but that's my detail. Right, that's it. Yeah, it feels nice in there, all smooth. I've still got my little target hole. You know, oh well. Right, not putting any finish in that because I don't need to. Alright, let me just have a look and check with my T light. Yeah, that fits a little bit better. See, it goes just that little bit lower, like so. See it? Yeah, just hold it still. There, alright, I ain't finished yet, so I've got to take no. it off. Alright. <laughs> I've got a little bit of wax on that top there, look. That's alright, that'll come off. I don't want to take any of that bark off, see? No. Right, again, this will go on to my other truck now. And I've got the taken off. Right, I've still got a little centre there, so I could come up if I have to. Let me see. Hang on. There we go. Got it. Right, so open up in there. Not enough to split it, but I've got to be just tight enough. It's, it's moved slightly. It ain't going to bother it. I'm only taking that bottom off. Should all be alright, let's start and see. It's not going nowhere, I don't think. <laughs> nice and gentle cut. All pushing in. Pulls rolled over slightly, see, rolled over, handle down a bit, cut in. Just take me time, I don't want to knock it off. I'm going to leave that little foot there at the edge. Maybe, or maybe not. No, I'm going to take it away. Right, I'm a little bit high there, as you can see, I yeah. can't get to that middle. <laughs> but that's alright, because I'm going to do the use the detail. We've got a little bump there. A little bump in the middle, that's it, it's gone now. Right, 
There we go, lovely smooth finish of the beef boy. We need to sand that, but we're going tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> we'll tickle it with the sandpaper. Put that on. Right, Look at that finish. Nice, yeah. Well, a bit dusty on that top bit there. Myself. Right, there we go. Look at that finish on that off of the carbide. Oh, it's still. Wow. Right, okay. So. Whoops. Bring that down there. There you go, another little tea, another little tea light holder. Okay, and done with the carbide. So yes, you can do it with your carbide, just the same. You don't have to do it with um, spindle gouges and stuff like that. All you've got to remember is drop that handle and come round and you'll be fine. Right, there we go, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Toodle pit. Bye, guys.